Welcome back to The David Pakman Show. If you do any shopping on Amazon, you could be supporting The David Pakman Show with the shopping you are already doing. Just go to our website, davidpakman.com. On the right side, you'll see a link to Amazon. Click it, do your shopping, that's it. Amazon sends The David Pakman Show 7% of your purchase. Doesn't cost you an extra penny. Incredible, Lewis. Wow. You can also become a David Pakman Show member, made possible in part by liberalbias.com. Good conservatives know climate change is a myth, so why are there so many graphs and charts that disagree? Find out about the liberal bias that's inherent in temperature, weather, other sciencey things at liberalbias.com. We have a member of the day today, but also a member of the year. Today's member of the day is Lyle Gurick. Lyle joined a few months ago, and he's an absolutely hell of a guy. It, it's just, uh, it's, we're thrilled to have uh, him involved with the David Pakman Show. For member sure. of the day. And member of the year, Bob Young from our affiliate out in Fort Bragg, California, KNYO. Bob signed up in May of 2010. He renewed his membership in 2011, 2012, and just two days ago, Lewis, in 2013. Bob is one of the longest mem running members of the David Pakman Show membership program, which of course started in April of 2010. So Bob was really in at the very beginning and uh, he, it's incredible. He pays what membership costs back then. I always talk about once you lock in your price, you keep it. He's paying like al almost 50% less than what, uh, what membership costs today because he locked it in, ladies and gentlemen. Good, good business mind right there. Absolutely. Yeah. So Bob, thank you so much for being a David Pakman Show member. Fourth year running, incredible. It's amazing. A New York City hate crime took place blocks from where I was Friday night in New York City. I was actually in New York City over the weekend and I had dinner Friday in the village and just blocks from there, an anti-gay man named Elliot Morales shot a gay man in the face. Police say homophobic slurs were used before the, the, the point blank shooting and that he, the, the um, alleged murderer, Elliot Morales, who is being charged with murder and weapons charges, also was uh, following uh, Mark Carson, 32 year old Mark Carson, who is the victim. Mark Carson walked with a, uh, a companion of some kind, not totally clear who it was, early Saturday morning, late Friday night, really. Morales trailed and taunted the men, yelling anti gay slurs, asking one of them, You want to die tonight? According to the New York Times. Police found Carson fatally wounded on the pavement, pronounced dead upon arrival to Beth Israel Hospital. Morales was actually arrested back in 1998 for attempted murder. Arrested years ago for attempted murder. He was caught just a few streets away by an officer who heard the description of the man on his radio and spotted him. And about 15 minutes before the shooting, Kelly said that the gunman was seen urinating outside of an upscale restaurant a few blocks from the Stonewall Inn, which is where in 1969 there were riots which helped give rise to the modern gay rights movement. Uh, and it's it's not totally clear if that was connected it may just be an unfortunate coincidence. And this is the fourth violent attack in two weeks believed to be motivated by anti gay bias, according to what police in New York City told CNN. Just incredible. And this man is now going to have to uh, spend life in a barred cell. Imagine if this individual the thing had is the thing is. You know, this is a separate story, but our, our legal system allowed for this man to be released um, after he was arrested for attempted murder earlier. Someone like that should not be allowed back into society. Well, we, we don't know the details of that. I mean, Natan, I had those thoughts also in my anger over the situation. Why was this guy even out on the street? But we don't know the details of that 1998 case. We don't, uh, but we do know that he went, I'm asking, we do know that he went to prison for a while, right? Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. then we don't know the details, but certainly, um, uh, there are cases when, uh, putting someone out on parole is definitely questionable. Yeah. Uh, I think we can all agree to that. How can you hate people, gay people this much if you aren't dealing with your own repressed homosexuality? I mean, I really try to think about it and say, you know, there are people who have really strong anti-gay convictions and it's just really because they're very religious and they believe the religion teaches them to be this anti-gay. I just don't see it. I really just don't see it. I mean, if it, it you know, I'm not very religious, so it's, yeah. it's hard for me to say, but I can really only see being this angry 
if you're angry that some people are able to live their, their live as themselves, right? That some people are able to say, I'm gay and I'm living my life as a gay man, and you're angry because you can't do that. That to me seems like a much more viable reason to be this angry than you just don't like gay people because you think being gay is wrong. I, I just I just yeah. don't see it. That or you uh, you are just raised being told about how bad it is and yeah. witnessing um, witnessing hatred and you know anger towards gays firsthand. Yep. Um, and then who, who knows? Maybe someone in their life uh, reveals something regarding homosexuality and that sends them over the edge. Yeah, it's 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 just horrific.